Hey gang, hey gang, hey gang, hey gang. <laughs> I am doing a tie dye here. I'm using Pixie Purple Bubble Gum Illuminate and p -p 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 Summer Vibes <laughs> and Boarding Pass. And then I'm going to repeat those. Sorry, hey fever. Um, down the nail. This, um, these two nails I'm going to do are inspired by a picture by Kez2107. Is it 2107? Or is that someone's birthday? Mm, yes, I'm pretty sure it is. I will write that in the description anyway. So I'm popping the colours on. Haven't cured any of them. As you can see, they start to sort of bleed into each other. So don't, I mean, don't rush it so that you get it wrong, but also don't fuck about. Um, I'm using my bit of paper to wipe my brush between strokes because I'm too lazy to move another few inches and wipe them on a lint wipe. Uh, <laughs> that's that's Wednesday. So I've done them in one direction and um, I'm just thinking of the band now. Not that I'm a fan <laughs> at all. Uh, and now I'm doing them, I still haven't cured, I'm just going in the opposite direction. I think I might have cut some of this, possibly, because it's basically just a close-up of my thumb knuckle, my thuckle. Um, so that is that, and that will have a cure for one minute. And then in the picture, um, the inspo picture, she had a um, peace sign, like I think it was a stamp um, of just a repeated peace sign. Um, going everywhere quite small all over the nail. I didn't want to cover up much of the tie-dye So I thought I'd do one big one in the middle and I thought I'd do it quite thick So that you can see it. However Once I did the circle I realized it wasn't quite perfectly in the center. Also, that's not a circle That's a square circle. It's a squircle so I decided to um, do lots more all over it in a kind of random pattern. I should have done them all the, ah, oh, you know, you'll see. <laughs> so I do some there and then sort of fill up the nail doing that and then put some insides in them. And I checked, it is the peace sign. It's not a Mercedes sign. Um, so I wasn't making that mistake. That's thick, that's really thick. You gonna fix that? No. So then that had a cure, and then I've gone in and doing the insides, the inside bits. <laughs> it's guts, and I should, I would have done them the same thickness as the outer circle, but I thought I was gonna lose too much of the tie dye, and I seem to recently be doing tie dye and then covering it with something. Um, I really should just leave it as is. Um, but there you go. So that had a cure and then, yep. And then topped with diamond gloss, of course, of course. I've got a test, um, for one of my friends during this video. She said, one of my best friends said she will watch my videos. So Lara, if you watch, text me saying, uh, sit down Joseph and if you don't then I will know that you're lying and you can kiss 20 uh, 25 years worth of best friendship down the drain that's it I'm not riding to school with you tomorrow so this nail has had um, a coat of sheer pink and then I'm just lining these colors up again and dragging um, up and then I'll go down in between them so it hasn't been cured. I probably shouldn't have done them as close to each other, the lines, um, because this bit was a bit, um, there wasn't much room to do it. Teeny tiny lines. And then before curing that, apparently I wasn't wiping my brush between that. Look at the state of the background. I would be, it would be um, misleading if I was to um, make out that I wasn't making a complete mess. So I'm using a brush just to feather up before curing. Feather up that yellow at the top 
You just wipe it yellow at the top as well because it will sort of fade out easy. And then that was cured. And this is another coat of sheer pink. And I'm just pulling it down. You don't have to um, be perfect with this because it's sheer. So it's not going to leave like really opaque um, line marks. Line marks. Yeah. So that had a cure. Um, and I'm doing a second coat. It doesn't look like it disappeared into the lamp and came back because my of my wizardry wizardry editing um so yeah just fading that down over there and then oh bit of faffage gotta have some faffage get on with it and then that was top coated as well and it does look um better without the blue tack under it did i take it off on camera yes i think i did um with my one odd thumb i did record doing my nails i will save it as a backup video because it's kind of boring um i mean the colors aren't boring but i just paint my nails so i did another one going horizontally that was my first one and then i realized the error of my ways so did the vertical one i hope you like it subscribe for lots more videos thank you for watching i will see you in the next one bye bye